Hello, I am Samir Sahasrabuddhe and we will now discuss about the 2D animations for the web and the various tools which are used for that. Well, as we know 2D animation is a vast area in which multiple softwares, tools and strategies are applied. To start with, if we just have a look at various tools which are available for 2D animation, you can see that there is a different category of tools available. The categories could be uh, free animation tools and proprietary animation tools. Free animation tools are Pencil 2D, Synfig, Createune, Blender, yes uh, many people know that Blender is a 3D animation tool, but it has a particular option called as Grease Pencil which can create 2D animations also and we will talk about this in detail in the later half of this particular video. We also have something called Krita which is becoming very, very popular these days and in the proprietary tools we have things like Moho, Crazy Talk Animator and Cell Action 2D. Now, these are the tools which have emerged after a very popular tool called as Adobe Flash has stopped its uh, support. However, till the Flash was in the business, it was the ruling uh, software which was used by each and everyone in the web development arena. Now that we do not have Flash, we can see that many things have emerged. In addition to these, there is one more category of 2D animation tools available which is called as explainer video animation tools. These are mostly tools which are available online and you do not have a installer on your computer for that, but these are used extensively in this educational multimedia or marketing or any other web development process for that matter. The examples of these explainer video animation tools could be Powtoon, Animaker, GoAnimate or Beyond. All these are available online with some uh, freebies as well as uh, extensive range of options available when you subscribe to it by paying a certain fee. Each and every tool in this category allows you a small piece of a free animation to be created because these give you a set of characters, objects and preset animations also. So, you have a very easy drag and drop action to actually create a story out of that. For example, you want to start a story of a teacher teaching physics in a class. So, instead of actually creating the character of the teacher and the subsequent animation, if you use any one of these explainer videos, then you can actually select a teacher with the attributes that you want, whether the teacher should wear a particular type of clothing and the different attributes of hair styles and uh, eye sizes and multiple footwear, you just name it and you have it. You can select the character in different ways and finally, when you are happy with it, you can just import it to your stage and select the multiple actions, teacher teaching, teacher writing, teacher talking, teacher walking, all those options are preset available, you just have to drag drop accordingly and you can create an animation scene very easily. I suggest you can just go and try out your hands with the options that we have mentioned and what you can see on the slide and try it for yourself. Now, we are going to show you a demo of the 2D animation using this tool called as Blender which has a particular option within which is called as Grease Pencil. This is subset of a bigger software, therefore you may have to know some little bit Blender basics. We can give you list of some basic tutorials available and you can go through that, but the advantage of Grease Pencil is that you can decide the planning of the animation poses that you want to have, it has motion curves it has option to interpolate, so that you can create the first frame and the last frame and Blender will create the in between frames for you. It 
supports hand drawn storyboarding. So, you can connect a tablet and using a stylus you can actually draw on top of it, so that you can get your own characters inside. You can actually have a director's option where you can review the shots and finally, create 2D animations in the various formats that you want to have right from static images to multimedia videos. Now, with this much of background, it is now time to just dive into blender and try to create a particular animation. Let us open blender. We are using a very stable and the latest version which is 2.79. The moment you open blender, you can just click anywhere to get rid of this welcome screen. Now that we are into blender, because I said that we are in 3D, we need to go to the 2D version of this. For that, first of all press 0 to go to the camera view, because we have to work only in camera view now. We will not be able to see anything in other views. We do not want this cube, because it is 3D and it is unnecessary for our script. So, we will just get rid of by deleting it. In the panel on the right hand side, we can just uh, click on the display drop down and select only render. So, that we will only see the rendered drawings there and nothing else. We also will get rid of the uh, 3D grid, which was not uh, 2D for us. So, we do not want it. Now, on the left hand panel, we have vertical tabs. The bottom most tab is called as grease pencil, which is what we want to actually use here. Click on that and you will get range of tools here. Now, we have tools like uh, draw, erase, line, poly and other things, but now that we are going to create an animation, we would now write like to first of all do two things. First is draw some objects and secondly create a timeline for our purpose. So, the moment we are talking about timeline here, we need to first restrict the timing of our animation. Just for the sample sake, let us go down to the timeline window and instead of 250 there, let us press 40, so that we have a very short but interesting animation. We can use the middle mouse scroll to zoom in on the timeline, so that we get a perfect view of the 40 frames that we have selected. We can just zoom in further and make it slightly bigger. And once we are there, we can now change the timeline window to something called as dope sheet window, because in animation we require dope sheets. Let us now change the window to dope sheet and within dope sheet, you have to click once again at the drop down on the right hand side to select the grease pencil menu, because we want the dope sheet for the grease pencil software specifically. Now that we are done with the preliminary settings, we will now go and start drawing. For drawing, just click on the draw button and like I said, I am using a stylus here and I will just draw a circle here. Our objective is to create a triangle and a circle where the circle will move inside the triangle. The moment I draw a circle, you can see it is very light, I cannot even see that, because we are going on the default menu. Now, in order to make it visible or slightly bold, the option is that we will now go down on the left hand side and select something called as ink. We select the ink option and now we go up and click on draw. Now, when we draw, you can see that the circle will be big and bold that we can see. And once we have done that, let us just go and create a triangle now. You can also see now that on the right hand side in the panel on the right hand side where the grease pencil is selected, we have the first box which tells us about the layers. This is the first layer that we have drawn and before we forget, let us just name it as circle. Now, we can click on the plus button to add one more layer and we should just name it beforehand and make it into a triangle. Just as a safety, we will now uh, lock the circle layer and go to the triangle layer which is unlocked, so that we can work on it. And now, because we have to draw a triangle which is a polygon, we will click on poly button. This will give you a very straight line to draw this triangle. 
it is very simple now, we just click three times in order to get the triangle done and whenever we are done, we can see that a bold triangle is ready for us. With both the layers created according to what we want, it is time to animate now. Let us unlock the circle layer now and lock the triangle layer, so that we can move the circle safely. On our timeline, we are at the frame number 1 right now and we will now want to place our circle inside the triangle within this 40 frames. On the dope sheet, I can actually create duplicate frames, so that I do not have to repeatedly draw things. I want the circle not to move up to the 10th frame. So, what I do is, I go to the frame number 10 using my mouse, select the frame at what is available at 1 and press shift D for creating a duplicate of that. The moment it is duplicated, I just drag the mouse and bring it up to frame number 10. Now, I want to animate this within the next 10 frames, which is the frame number 20. We will go to the frame number 20 now and we will go to the drawing window, because now we have to select the circle and we have to move it. For selecting the circle, first we will go to the edit strokes mode available as a drop down. And when we select the circle using A and G for grabbing it, we will just move it to wherever we want to. I just want to place it inside the triangle and when I am happy with it, I will just leave it. You can see that the moment I move it, there is a keyframe created at frame number 20. Do not get bothered with additional keyframe which is getting created on the orange layer. Like I said, this is for the dope sheet summary, where any motion in any layer will be reflected in this summary. So, do not worry about it. And finally, I want to duplicate the frame number 20 again up to frame number 30, so that there is a pause after it steps, uh, it gets inside the particular triangle. Now, in order to do that, I will repeat the same thing, select the frame and duplicate it by pressing shift T, move it and I will get a particular frame repeated there. The problem is that I want a motion between this thing. So, have I created the motion? Well, there is a option now that I can play it. I will just go from uh, frame number 1 to frame number 30 through my mouse movement on the time uh, dope sheet and I can see that the circle suddenly jumps from one place to another, which is not I want. So, I have a shortcut here called as Alt A. If I click that, I can see that the video is getting played, but it is not a motion at all. So, what is the solution for this? Well, we will just stop this animation and place our cursor anywhere between the two frames, which is frame number 20 uh, and frame number 10, like I have placed here at 50. Actually, it can be anywhere. With this pl place selected, I will just go to the top left menu and select the option called as interpolate. When I drop it down, I get option called a sequence and the moment I hit the button sequence, it actually creates sequence of frames there and you can see now multiple frames being created. And now if I press Alt A, you can see that the ball now moves inside the circle and stays there. This is exactly the animation I wanted. Now that I am happy with it, it is time to render it. To render as a standard blender practice, just go to the render panel and keep some settings there. First of all, we will select the place where it has to store this particular animation. We will click on the folder view there and select the desktop, which is our favorite place to store. We will give the name in this blank tab by saying uh, circle animation. Okay. And once we are done with that, we will click on accept button on the right hand side. Not only that, but we have to also select what type of animation it has to be rendering. Once you are done with these settings, the final setting is for the web developers. Whether you want your animation with a transparent background or, or with a pre-multiplied alpha. 
in that case from the options in shading under the render button you can see that there are two options for alpha one is sky and other is transparent. Sky will give you whatever you see on screen here and transparent will give you a complete transparent uh, background. Well, because our objects are black in color you will not be able to see anything. So, for the sake of the example we will keep it at sky right now and once you are done the final step remains is to go to the option on the top left where you click on render and select the open GL render animation button. The moment you do that you can see the rendering happening on screen. You can go to the desktop and just have a check at whatever is rendered whether it is right and you can see that there is this animation which is available to you. Well, you can use this amazing tool blender to create such beautiful animations in 2D. These are vector images, so the quality is very high and you can use it in your applications for web wherever you want it. Thank you very much.